hello, hello again out there in YouTube land. It is I, Kim, for Kimberly Smith. Crafty Teacher DIY is coming at you with what's in the box. Because as you can see, I've got a box here. Um, this is my Needlework Galleria um, kind of pamphlet because my address is right under there. But uh, this is from Twisted Rabbit. You can kind of see I just got done filming my um, Galleria um, floss tube and it's a mess. It's a hot mess in here. So, um, but I wanted to finish filming this and another what's in the box and a third what's in the box because my life is busy right now. Um, so anyway, this comes to us from Twisted Rabbit Stitcher, if I'm not mistaken. Hang on one second. Uh, Twisted Rabbit Creations. My fault, my fault. And we've got a what's in the box. Um, I know what's in this box, but I haven't seen what's in this box in person, so I'm super excited. Um, and welcome along on this journey with me. Um, again, for those of you who are new, welcome. Um, this is a segment when I kind of open up something that I received in the mail that I ordered, and I show you what's in it. Um, and I typically don't show it on my floss tube, but this is otherwise. A channel all about cross stitch, um, particularly my last floss tube, which was an hour and 46 minutes. I am not joking, an hour and 15 minutes of that was all haul from Needlework Galleria. <sighs> it was a lot. But we're here for this. We're here for this. So I am going to open this up. I've only cut off the tape. I know there's purple um, tissue paper, but that's about all I know. So, otherwise, I have not opened this up, so I'm super excited. You can kind of see there's my ticket from Needlework Work Gallery in the corner of my, my box there, or my screen there. Alright, here we go. So, this was obviously um, something that, let me just pop this back a little bit, um, both Twisted Rabbit creations and Michelle G of Bendy Stitchy kind of um, came together on and uh, I saw Michelle G's um, sorry there's a little mat there um, I saw Michelle G's journal that she uses and I really liked it a lot and so then they started to, or she kind of talked about how she had done it with her patron oh man I don't want to break this open how can you get this off without breaking the wax? You wanna have to break the wax. Oh, oh! Oh, no. Alright. It's just gonna come across right through the wax. I didn't want to though. That's super cute and that takes time. I do have like one. So the Stitch Fairies have worked their magic with the most amazing fiberlicious fabric. Ooh, first time I've had fiberlicious fabric. <laughs> Colorful floss and magic needle found in the smallest of needle books. They lift the journal. So colorfully dyed, dropping pieces of old lace from fancy holders across the cover to test for that most perfect look. Once magically placed, they open the book to coffee dyed pages. The fairies breathe deeply. A smile and a giggle escape their lips. They believe this is very odd, but so wonderful. Oh my, a fairy exclaimed. The inside cover gleamed with the, from the amazing design we have stitched. As they slowly turn the pages, amazed at the vintage look, the snail charm, and laughing at the words on the very old dictionary pages, they come to the last page. A silly snail greets them, inviting the fairies to make this book their own. Sign here, says the snail, and forever your world will be odd. And if you look close enough, very wonderful. Yes. I hope, I hope, I hope. I know what this pattern says, um, and I'm super excited about it. I'm really crazy excited to stitch it. Maybe I'll heat this from the other side and see if I can get it to seal again a little bit. All right, are we ready to see? Are we ready to see? First things first, the world is odd and sometimes wonderful. I really do like, oh man. I gotta do something with this color because it is not showing up. <sighs> Sorry guys. Anyway, 
So that's like got a very purple background to it, the, the cover on that one. But that is a great, great um, pattern from Michelle. So I can't wait to stitch it. Um, I don't know what it ends. Oh, 74 by 74 is what it ends up in. And we have fabric, which is, I kind of splurged and I went obviously the linen because that's I, what I prefer. I got the 36 count linen. It's plain. It's size 13 by 17 and it's called Cafe Misto. Um, and it's, it's like a tea dyed kind of color. I know right now it's kind of showing up a, it's not showing up right. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to get this to kind of focus, but anyway, it's, it's a, it's a very light tan. That would be how I would say it. And then I did upgrade to Ymir Silks. So Ice Queen. I have like two skeins of this as it is, but for a different project. Um, but look, oh, that's a beautiful purple. This is a hot, hot pink. It is not showing. I do not know how to get this pink to show. Because it is hot pink. Oh my goodness, how did I miss all that? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, look at all the goodies in here. I'm so excited. Emerald City, I had that uh -huh. for my my pattern. This is like a um, it's wine and it is a wine color. It's a great wine color and a raven which is a pretty color too oh i love the floss nuggets they're super fun um but they are not showing because that is not brown that's like a maroon that's like a bright green i need to work on getting these to show right for y'all i don't know what that was um that you all just heard Ooh, it's got a Oh, look at all the different stuff. Stickers and additional pages and stuff that you can put in here. I don't know what this card is all about. And again, just more stuff to decorate. More stickers and tags. Oh, I like how they include a whole bunch of stuff that you can then um, include to put as like design on the paper old music I'm curious what oh that's in base class that's in trouble um okay let's open it up oh I like how the the ribbon's all ragged oh this is so cool oh there it is the world is odd and sometimes wonderful. I like that they did that. Sorry guys. Again, you guys know I have a funky setup. I haven't figured out the best way to do it. Oh, look at the snail. I have no idea where I'm going to put you, buddy. But, oh, look at those pages. I'm super excited. I can't wait to fill it in with stuff. Oh, <laughs> this is an old, uh, an old article. Ah, there's our snail again with a tag and like kind of like an old uh, library book i don't know that thistle's gonna fit on this i don't know where thistle went right now um but i know thistle is safe that i will say but i'm i'm wondering if she could fit on here i think they might be able to fit on here but that's one of the first things that i wanted to put in here was thistle um and if you've seen my most recent plus you will understand that Oh, look, that's so cool. I like the purples and the browns and the pinks. That's a great finding. I have a stitchy journal for my finishes. Let's see what else they gave us. They gave us, oh, a little needle book. Oh, look at that vintage pattern. Oh, look at that fabric. That's nice. With a little needle in it. A great floss drop with snails. I'm super glad about the snails because I was kind of bummed um, about one of the snail patterns that I got that I'm not going to be able to stitch unless some things change. But oh, and then there's the the um, lace to go around the pattern when you're finished with it, and some more lace and uh, 
It's got to be a floss bobbin of some kind. What is that? A is that a stump? Is that a tree stump? I'm curious. I want to see what's underneath now, but I don't want to unwind the lace. So I don't think I'm going to be able to get it back through there. Or is that the hatter? I bet that's the mad hatter with his ears, like there's a rabbit ear there. I wonder. I don't know. I'll have to look. Oh, but I'm super excited. I can't wait to get started with this. Um, I really want to stitch this pattern up like ASAP, but I know that it's going to take me a lot longer then well 74 by 74 but um i still have her the personalist political that i want to stitch up too but the fact that this comes with like all the silks and the colors and everything i'm super excited about um although now that i look at it maybe i should have just gotten the floss itself although i think that it might be in here so if i want to change that up i can change that up but i splurged and i went i went um I went fancy on this box but yeah I'm crazy happy super excited look at all this fun stuff that's in here I'm thinking in, do I see anything else no no that was everything okay good so let's go ahead and let's throw that to the floor and let's lay it all out look at Ralph on that side um, some stickers and some, look, that's pretty. Um, and the cards and the tags and the pages and our needle book along with Michelle's Odd World. I'm super, oh, and a page section. Oh, I'm loving it, you guys. Absolutely loving it. That's showing up a little bit better, but it's still not quite the right. It's not quite right. But yeah, I'm crazy excited, y'all. Crazy excited. I don't know if anybody else has this, but I'll start stitching it as soon as I can. But yeah. So, thank you to Wisted Rabbit Creations, otherwise known as Angela and thank you to Michelle G from Bendy Stitchy for doing these patterns and this design and this beautiful beautiful work and notebook there's another floss there berry blue um but yeah those those colors are not showing true um I'm super excited I can't wait to to get started and um and to use all this fun stuff. I have no idea how I'm going to do it. No idea. But I'm, I'm glad I got it. I I really like that pattern and enjoy her pattern that she she put together for this. Um, the world is odd. It's down here underneath here. I really enjoy this pattern. So I can't wait. I can't wait. Well, we'll get going on it. We'll get going on it pretty quick. So, I hope y'all enjoyed my What's in the Box Wednesday. It's going to be short. I hope it's short compared to the other box that I had this week, or the other floss tube I had this week. This one should be short, but um, if you ordered one, I hope you enjoy yours as much as I'm going to enjoy mine. <laughs> I don't have a lot of smalls, but after Gallery, I got a lot more smalls. So, this should work uh, well for me to start putting some stuff in here. So, with that said, I hope you all have a great week. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you um, were inspired to uh, try something new and step out of your comfort zone a little bit. And um, I hope that you guys have fun stitching. And I hope you tune in for the next What's in the Box. I've got a couple more that I need to film tonight. And then I'm going to go to bed on one of these exports because it's going to be the world. It's going to take forever. Um, so with that said, have a good night. We will see you in the next one. I hope you watch it. What's in the box three coming up soon, soon, soon. Bye everybody.